Good morning. It is a beautiful morning. It's about 50 degrees out right now and it's actually supposed to get up to 70 degrees today. We haven't had that warm weather yet. So we are looking forward to that. We need to get into the house and I'll show you guys where we're at if you haven't been watching recently. Let's go. Me and Gina have been working on our bathroom. We have it all prime painted. We got our vanity in, our toilet in. Everything is hooked up. All the lights are on. I had to patch around, let me shut it up, it's kind of bright. I had to patch up around the edge right here and repaint it. There was like one or two little slices in the sheetrock for me using the Dremel where it got away and like a knot in the two by and slid in like, I don't know, like a half inch. And I thought the vanity, no, I thought the medicine cabinet that we're gonna be recessing in would have, lip would cover the edge, but it didn't. So I painted that up. It's all dry now, but I'm gonna wait to install it until Jimmy gets here, which should be in a little bit because I want to know which way she wants the door to open. So we'll put it in and we'll find out for sure. Because if I do it when she's not here, she's probably going to be like, yeah, no, I don't want it that way. So we'll wait. We wanted to get the bathroom up and working so that way when we're up here, we don't have to use a composting outhouse. If we have friends and family over, they can feel comfortable using a bathroom also. And it's nice to be able to have a flushing toilet and a place to wash your hands. Now we need to work on the downstairs kitchen slash living room, all the living space, getting it sheetrock. There's a few issues I need to fix on the wiring, but I noticed the other day, you can't see now, but this window and one or both of those windows, when it was raining really hard, there was water on the inside of it. These are the only, there's two or three of them, I don't remember if both of them over here were leaking or not. I am thinking the rain was coming down so hard it was hitting the house sideways and then getting in behind the zip tape. When I flashed these windows with the zip tape, it wasn't very warm and we haven't had the nicest weather. So I'm thinking that the zip tape just wasn't sealed that good to the house yet. So I'm gonna get the ladder out, check everything, see if they're leaking. Actually, I'll get the ladder out, check everything, make sure they're sealed and then we will get out the hose and hose everything down because I don't wanna do the sheetrock on this wall until we know everything is watertight. So if you would know of a way of these windows leaking being zip tape, let me know. So yesterday I had gotten into the upper 60s and the sun beams on the front of the house, so the tape should have got warmed up enough to seal everything. I'm a little bamboozled because it's all taped, two layers. We started with the lower stuff, worked our way up, so it's the lower part is under the upper part. The only thing I didn't know is if maybe the water was getting behind there because it wasn't sealed right away. But we got it all sealed to the edge. The tape wraps over right here, goes down the side, and then this is all wrapped. So... If it still leaks, I'm kind of confused. idea where that rain would be coming in from because it's sealed up so nicely. That should be sealed good. We'll wait to test that until Gina gets here so she can be watching the inside of the window while I'm hosing it down. Gina is having fun with chain orders. We originally, or should I say, she originally just stopped, said we were going to have a fan over our island with no light in it. Well, she found the fan she wants, and we ordered it, and we have it, and it has a light in it. So we're going to take this wire out, and we'll have to run a three-way wire up, and we'll put a two box in. So that way we can have a switch for the light and a switch just for the fan. And if I take this wire out, I can run a 12-3 wire and that'll make it a lot easier. We won't have to have two of these wires up there. We 
We got some picking up to do in here. He left you. Yeah. What the hell? Come on. Where'd you go? He does not like the grate. He doesn't? No. Nope. Right over it. So I got your first change order taken care of. I ran it so we can have the light and the fan. Because before we just had it wired just for your fan. Yep. And then you changed your mind. I'm gonna start up high on this further window to the closest to the garage door. So we're getting water pooling up down here. I put my flashlight on. It looks like it's coming just from this edge over here. All this looks good. So, yeah. I'm gonna run the hose there and see if you're getting any more water. What's that? Only turn it like halfway on, otherwise you'll soak yourself. Oh. So it's dripping down and in right on the outer edge. All right, let's check the other one right now. Okay. And then I'll come back to this one. Okay, because maybe see. you'll see something that one. Yeah, that far one was also leaking. But this one is bone dry still. This is bone dry. So I thought the issue might be up in here, but that's bone dry. There's nothing wet in there. Like I didn't know if the water was getting behind and going in here, but there's no water. I am super confused right now. Let's uh, keep taking it apart. All right, we're gonna take the window out. Everything is bone dry. So I don't know where it's getting in from. I'm hoping that if I take the window out, I can kind of see more of what, is, what was going on. 
and maybe see where the water is coming in and see if it's wet behind this flange or if it's something like where they meet these two pieces together or something, if it's leaking there. There's no water here at all. No water over there. Like here, there's a little bit of like condensation. And then there was water here. Not a lot, but a little bit. And then some here. The inside edge of the window, this is upside down, is all dry. There's a little bit of, it was a tiny bit of condensation on this lip, but this is all dry. I thought maybe I'd find some water coming in here or there, but those are bone dry. So I don't really know where that water is coming in. And that's why I ended up putting in the clapboard siding on the other windows. So it has a taper. So if you do get water like that in, it can roll out the bottom. And that's why you don't screw the bottom tight. So if there is water that gets in, it has a place to run out. Well, our pan is flat, so it can't run out. So we're gonna take this, this window, since this window's out, we're gonna add a piece of clapboard in and then reflash it all. And then unfortunately, we're gonna do those other two windows. And these are the only three windows that we didn't do with the clapboard siding because we didn't have any at the time. Because you couldn't find it. They didn't have any in stock when we did these three windows. So that's why we didn't do that here. And now we're going to redo it because before the water was running in when it rained. Now, at least if it gets in there, everything's flashed so it can't cause any rot harm. It'll just run out and that'll be the end of it. Super disappointing because we just want to start working on doing the kitchen or finishing up the pieces of the bathroom and then starting on the kitchen. This needs to be taken care of before I do the kitchen because I don't want to worry about that. It's going to be super nice few days, so it'll be a good time to do it. So I kind of thought I was being doing like a little bit too much when I did this clapboard siding on all the other windows. But I am so glad I did because this is just a little fail safe. So if you do get water in your windows, it's going to go outside for sure. So I'm glad we did this for all the other windows. And it's just these three <laughs> that we have to redo. Boy. Tanner's not very good in the car, and then I also don't want him when we're doing a lot of dust and stuff. But I knew we were going to do some stuff probably outside and wouldn't be doing sheetrock or anything. So he got to come up today, and he sticks around pretty close and always checking on us. Pluto, on the other hand, had to keep a very close eye on her. So if you're trying to work, get some things done, she unfortunately can't come a lot of the time unless we're just going to just be sitting around relaxing, which we. I don't know if we really do that. <laughs> um, so she's just hanging out. At least we know the windows are flashed nicely and we know the zip tape sticks good and seals everything up nicely. So now we can put that window back in. You need to hold it? No, I just want to see if it's level first. Now we can just go ahead and screw it back in place.
All right, that window is all done and flashed. I'm kind of disappointed, or I should say I am disappointed that I didn't figure out where the leak was coming from. I wish I could even find something that was my fault because I'd feel better knowing what exactly caused it. But it's all reflashed. We got the, that pan put in. I'm gonna soak it down again and see if there's any water coming in. And if there is, is it shedding out? progress because now we don't have a leaking window so even though we had to take it out and redo it we can still move forward because now it's better than it was. Gina's saying no leaks so there was some kind of issue from beforehand. I don't know what it was. I wish I did. We're gonna have to get those two windows taken care of and then hopefully those don't leak either and we'll put the pan in the bottom instead of just reflashing it and calling it good. So we're gonna redo all of it from the beginning. But before we do that, let's go inside and get the medicine cabinet hung up in the bathroom. That way we'll feel like we've made some forward progress today. So you think you'll be able to open it from the far side in, right? Yeah, towards the okay. wall. That's the way I have it. Okay, so that way. Why is it blue like that? That's just I'm color. just kidding. <laughs> well, it would be like that. Yeah. Well, as much as I hate having to redo things, it is a beautiful day out and I'm glad to be working outside. We've been doing all of our work inside, so to be able to be outside in some nice weather is nice. And actually taking off the zip tape in the morning when it's cool before the sun's come out is a lot easier than trying to get this off when the sun is out. I knew where that water was getting in or how it was getting in but I still have no clue I'm thinking it's something I did because that window is not leaking now but I'd like to know so I could learn from it all right step one done Oh, you show up now and got the windows all out. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're out. Get them back in or get the bottom pans in, reflashed, and get the new ones, or get the new ones, get the windows back in. And then we'll just check it, see if there's any water coming in. 
And then I can have my hose. And then we'll be back to where we were yesterday morning. But they won't be leaking. Well, you just want to go inside and make sure side to side the gaps are the same. Yeah. I like it right there. All right, you're good. All right, the windows are all installed, screwed in. Now I want to get the zip tape done. I want to get it done before the sun hits the windows because once that zip tape gets warmed up from the sun, it's a pain to work with because it's so sticky. So I don't know, I think we got it. If we get any leaks this time. There 
All right, everything is nice and dry on that window. I don't need that shit there anymore. Everything on this window is nice and dry also. I would love to know what the issue was. The only thing I can think of is we installed these windows when it was cold out. So maybe someplace we didn't have a good contact, but the window we pulled out yesterday didn't see moisture anywhere, so I don't know. Are you building another one? You think this is like an obsession? I think so. You've already got three. You want four? Yeah, and I would actually want the round one. Do some herbs in. So you're saying you got four, but now you want more? Yeah, but the ones that I want this color, and I think they're not going to be ready until mid-June, so I have to decide if I want to do that or want to mix some colors. Or... All right, I need to figure out where our light above the garage door is going, and then I want to put one above the main entry door. And I want to do them above, because if we ever put a roof above the main entry door, I can just run that power, the light power, up into the roof area and have a light inside. I'm thinking at some point I'd like to put a roof over the entrance door. Maybe the whole length of this? I'm not sure yet. It's still just ideas we're working on, but I want to make sure the wiring is not like on a sconce on the side so it wouldn't be as easy to run that in the roof of the ceiling. All right, for now, that'll keep any water out until we get our boxes out here and everything installed. Well, I don't like having to redo things or do things twice, but I am so glad that those windows are all fixed. And now we can move on to the sheetrock. I really would love to know what I did wrong to make them leak, because my guess is I had to have done something wrong because now they're not leaking. So I don't know what it was, it must have been something minor, but either way, I just like to know what it was so that way I can adjust things later on. It's one of the reasons I love doing this stuff myself, this is how I learn. So by messing up and failing, I grow and I learn for next time. So I really don't look at them as failures, they're just mistakes, as long as you fix them, you're good to go and then you can learn for next time. So thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be able to do what we do here at Lumna Acres. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, it really helps, and we'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye.